Hello, this is the first Chapter 5 video, and in this video we're going to be giving you an introduction to the support system, um, which we're going to be looking at for the duration of Chapter 5, um, and then give an external and internal view of that system. So um, if you're interested into this uh, technical support system, um, this is a, an original idea based um, on um, Joseph uh, Weizenbaum in the 1960s um, on a system called ELISA and basically what happens is, is the person talks to the system via the keyboard and the system then returns answers to questions posed by the user. Um, if you want to see what we're trying to sort of get to um, then have a look at the tech support complete um, application and see how that works. Um, so that, it's quite clever to a certain extent so have a look, at, look into that. Um, before we can get to tech support complete, there's a few things we need to understand. Um, and so we're going to have a look, first of all, at the tech support version 1. So, yeah, I'd encourage you to have a look at the complete version, um, but then also have a look at tech support version 1. Um, hopefully we've had a quick look at tech support version 1. Um, there's a couple of things we need to consider. Um, in, in order to keep the program running, what we do is we run a while loop, and this is a, a common iteration pattern in other types of programming. You can see this with programs later on in the course. Uh, another new thing we're, we're doing is getting uh, data from the user. Um, we use a class to, um, to get that data, um, and we're going to show you how to do that as well. Uh, finally, in terms of ending the program, um, we are simply ending the program when the user types the word by BYE, and that will end the program. Um, in order to uh, test that, what we do is we test uh, using the input, um, which is a type string, and then using the method starts with. Um, what we're going to do is, uh, if you want to have a look at where the starts with method comes from, where would you potentially look for that? I want you to investigate that, that, that now, and the answer to that will be in a previous, or in a in a um, in a later video, or in the classroom. So let's have a look at the internal and external view of TechSport version one. So um, as we can see here, support system uses the input reader class and the responder class. So the best way to do this is to check out these classes first before looking at the support system. So. Before we see that, we'll just see what it does. So new input reader, let's just create an object of that type. We can write that, right, right click that, and then string get input. So it's returning a type string. Gives you this cursor and then it asks for some information. So hello. So pressing hello, um, then you can see the method then returns the hello word which you just typed in. So that's now a method to get detail and get a string from the user. Again, it only has that one simple thread, that input reader class. So let's have a look at the responder class. So we can go in and click on the new responder, right click, and again, there's only one method, and that returns a type string. Um, the only method is the generate response, and we'll see there that um, all it does is generates a single response, which is, uh, that sounds interesting, tell me more. So if we generate another response, you'll see that it's exactly the same. Um, so let's have a look at the actual support system now itself. And we right click and we can see that we can start. There's only one method, avoid, didn't return anything, and we can start the application. So we get a little bit of information about the application which you can, which you can read. Uh, so let's try this out. I have a problem with my computer. That sounds interesting, tells me more. Uh, it doesn't turn on. That sounds interesting, tell me more. So we're going to see pretty soon that all it does is respond with a single and simple string um, response, and that's all it's going to do. Now, this could get quite frustrating for users who are trying to fix their machines. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to look to improve that. So before we can improve that, let's have a look at uh, the internal workings of these different classes. So first of all, let's have a look at input reader. So input reader. Um, now, if you want to abstract yourself away from input reader, then feel free to do so, and you can just, if you want to, just extra the fact that the, that the get input method will um, take an input from the user. Um, if you want to know a little bit more about it, then keep watching. Um, so what we do is we create a, a scanner object. Now, if you want to have a look in um, the API and look up the scanner object, that's a useful method um, for getting information from strings. So what we do here is we uh, create, when we do our assignment, we create a, a new scanner object and we give it the parameter 
of system.in and again if you want to look up in the API um, you'll see that the system uh, dot in is very useful for getting um, uh, strings and, um, and other um, data from the user through the command line through, through so in our case through the terminal so what it does is it gets it creates um, this new scanner object um, which uh, takes in um, the parameter of what what you've typed into the terminal the public get input then uh, does a system out of print line so it um, puts up a little cursor for you um, creates a string um, called input line and then if you look in the scanner class um, scanner class you'll see that there's a next line method which can be called um, so what we're doing is we use the reader dot next line and that gives the next line of text which you've provided um, so in, in your case in our case it will be what you provided in the terminal window um, it then returns that input line there and again that gives us then access to whatever we've typed in the terminal window so that's input reader uh, the responder class this is probably the most basic at the moment um, nothing in the constructor no fields it is a single method and all it does is return the string that sounds interesting tell me more so you can see underneath the um, underneath this this is very uh, very simple um, uh, application which which does no more than what it seems to the support system main class then has two fields uh, and the two fields are of input reader and of responder type so in the um, in the constructor we simply um, assign those new objects so the clever bit of this program is the um, the loop in here in the start method so here we've got the start method so first of all we create a boolean type variable called finished and we give that um, the false value we then print welcome so if, to, if you have a look down at the print welcome method the print welcome has a series of systems out of print line commands um, which provide a welcome and introduction to the users we've then got this while loop which is the bit which keeps the program running so while not finished so if you remember finished has been assigned to false so if we obviously do not false then that becomes true so at the moment this will work um, string input dot equals reader dot get input if you remember um, using the input reader class that will um, get an input from the user um, and so you can type an input there and then we get this string called input which is the input from the user we then say if the input starts with the uh, the word by um, then that means the person wants to exit the program so finished equals true once finished becomes true then the while loop will then end next time it gets to the end of it um, if the user hasn't typed by um, then all you're going to do then is generate a response so string response which cr creates um, and defines our um, response variable um, and then using our responder which is this one here of type um, responder um, we call our generate response now if you remember the generate response method all that returns is um, that sounds interesting tell me more um, we then do a system to add the print line of that um, and that's all it is so uh, this this program will just keep going and keep outputting that response and asking the user for the input except when the user eventually types by when they get frustrated with the application and then that will be that um, the final bit then once it's once that the finished um, becomes true and um, it then goes out of the while loop it'll then go to the print goodbye method if we have a look at the print goodbye method very simple method a, a, a simple system to add print line nice talking to you bye so that's all that will do again pretty straightforward in what it does um, but we're going to um, over the next few videos improve that application and see if we can make it uh, a little bit more believable it's never going to be perfect but can make it a little bit more believable okay see you next time